Yeah, what's good everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a brand new video. If you didn't know, Logitech G has finally dropped mix line now if you guys remember when the astro a50x came out i put you guys on to the mix line beta now they've been in beta since this headset been out since the beginning of the year but now they are finally here with the full functional program that will allow you to get all of your audio inputs into one stream mix for the free ski yeah um i'm not sure if you guys know the beta was free if you signed up via email but also the full software that works with your windows pc is completely free so you don't need to buy anything else if you already have your setup in hand now what i want to talk to you guys about is a multitude of things running a dual pc setup running a console in pc setup running just a regular pc setup if you have different options and variations of your audio we're going to go through all of that today this video may be a little bit lengthy but i promise you this is what you guys have been asking for. This is what you guys have wanted. And now it's time for me to talk to you guys about it. Little disclaimer, um, I am pro A50X. Um, I've been using this headset since it dropped. I love the biggest thing about it is the Bluetooth feature. Um, the Bluetooth feature allows me to be on a phone call, a FaceTime, watch videos, watch movies, watch TV shows while no one else is listening to what I'm listening to. So I always have it Bluetooth to my iPhone. So whenever I take phone calls or whatever the case may be, I can use the Astro mic for myself while I'm talking to you through my Sona mic. Now, let's talk about the Mixline software for a moment. First step is open up your internet browser and go to logi.gg slash iPod King Carter. It's gonna take you over to the Logitech G website. From there, you're gonna go ahead and click software and then click mix line. Super, super simple. All you have to do is hit download from Windows and it'll automatically download mix line for you. Now, once open, you're gonna go ahead and open up the file that was downloaded. It's gonna be a zip file. Uh, you're gonna wanna open that whatever unarchiver or WinRAR that you have. Once that's open, just go ahead and install Mixline. <laughs> it's literally that easy. Now it's a couple easy steps, agree to a user agreement and click install. Probably one of the simplest installs that I've had in quite a while actually. Now from this part, uh, once you do open up the Mixline after installing, you want to actually read the prompts that's gonna pop up, which is a quick start video that they have on their website. You can join their Discord to you know, create, give feedback and things of that nature, as well as it'll tell you how to use Mixline in all of its facets, all right? It's really, really quick. You know, one of those opening tutorials that every application kind of gives you nowadays, but it's pretty good that they have theirs as soon as you download it. But the biggest feature that you're one going to take advantage of is the fact that you can create a Logi ID account. And once you create this Logi ID account, you will have the ability to log into the website and use as many sources, as many inputs and everything that you need to run your streaming setup or even just gaming setup as you want for free. That's the biggest thing for me, man. That tagline free, boy, I'm telling you. It's time to introduce you to the full version of Mixline. I know that it looks like a lot is going on on screen, mainly because I have a lot of different inputs popping in, but it's because I'm a console gamer and I run a dual PC setup. That means I have three different devices connected to my setup at any given time while streaming. For your setup, it might look a little bit different. It might be a little bit less intrusive. It might be a little bit more intrusive if you're using a hard, where type of mixer as well in your setup like i am now the reason that i use that is because i'm also using playstation 5 as well i do have an xbox it's in the closet i'm sorry xbox don't hurt me but i want to talk to you guys about the simplicity of mixline the one-to-one -one, the applications that you'll use when sending it to your stream and what you're sending to your headset so let's talk about that for a moment the number one thing that I would say is really, really good about Mixline's application is that you will be able to monitor the output of the stream, which is Mixline stream that you guys see right here, 
or you could do it like how I do it, which is old school. And you could just literally put whatever application, whatever game, whatever sounds straight onto the headset that you're listening to everything in. Now, right now, I'm going to go ahead and mute them because I want to show you guys the monitor feature. Yes, that sounds a little bit too crazy to me. Now, what you can do is you can also I do have my chat mic here. Um, I can turn that off, but I just wanted to let you guys know that you can monitor even your own voice inside of Mixline. Now, let's talk about music for a moment. Now, I am a streamer who loves his music, who loves to do the Harlem Shake or whatever the case may be, whatever I'm feeling in that day, I'm doing. What I wanted to show you guys is that not only can you have different applications run at different audio points, but you can have them running at different audio points for yourself and for the stream. Now, me, myself, I'm a person that uses Google Chrome for reactions, right? So when it comes to reactions, what I might hear is a little bit louder than what the stream will hear simply because I need to be the one listening to that in full volume so I can hear what they're saying. But the stream might want to hear me more for my reactions and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and just show you a clip real fast and let you listen to it. I can't he had me on a fucking school bus, you punk. Who had you shot a school bus? You shot me through a wall! You shot me through a wall! I know you did! Alright. Give me. Clip. Clip. <laughs> now, like I was saying. Those type of things happen to me on a regular basis. But what I wanted to show you guys was that not only is Google Chrome playing through my headset, but it's also playing through the stream. What you are hearing is stream audio from Mixline stream, because if you come to over to my settings of my Streamlabs app that I'm using to record this video, that's my microphone audio is Mixline stream. Now, of course, like I told you guys, I am a streamer. I am a person who likes his music. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to mute my output to my headset, but I'm going to let you guys listen to my boy Trey in his actual song. All right. So we're going to go ahead and move it to about right here and let's hit play. Now, if you notice, you guys are listening to that, but I'm not. So what I could do is I can listen to it as well if I wanted to. So now I hear what you hear. Ways different. Yeah. Menage. Yeah. 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 So now let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Cause I'm going to get in my bag. If I listen to too much music. Now that right there is what it sounds like when listening to said music, right? Now, in a perfect world, right, if I was a streamer who listened to music and I was someone who played Call of Duty, this is what my stream would sound like if you were in it. So let me go ahead and do two things. I'm going to give you guys full audio, right, of the actual Google Chrome, which is the clip. And I'm going to keep the music level at where it is with Kaleidoscope Dreams, right? So let's go ahead and hit play and play. I can't he had me on a fucking school bus, you punk. Who had you shot a school bus? You shot me through a wall! You shot me through a wall! I know you did! Alright. Give me. Clip. Clip. <laughs> okay, so. That is what it would sound like if you were actually watching my stream, listening to the music, as well as watching me play the game. Now that we've talked about that, I want to also talk to you guys about Discord audio, because Discord audio is also a huge thing that we always talk about when it comes to, you know, being a streamer, being someone who wants to play video games with his friends. You want to be that person that is able to hear footsteps, hear music, hear your friends yelling at you, telling you to get the B or the C flag. So what I wanted to show you guys is the actual audio here on Mixline stream and I will play it through my headset. I do have a bot in here. I didn't want to bring anybody in for this video. I just wanted to do this myself, but I want to show you guys that, 
Yes, you can also even listen to Discord audio with this as well. So let's go ahead and hit resume and it's gonna get pretty loud in here. Now, the reason that I use music right there is to show you guys that you will be able to hear Discord audio as well when using Mixline, all right? So we've already tackled being able to use Google Chrome as your reactional uh, window for you know those type of reactions. We've also talked about using Opera and its features to use YouTube Music, Spotify, whatever the case may be. And the funny thing about this, guys, if you download the actual application, you will be able to add that as an input on Mixline as well to listen to instead of just using Opera like I like to use. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I love Opera because it's very, very resource resistant. It doesn't use a lot of resources to be used. So I like that. Now, when we talk about PC gaming for a moment, let's hop into this. When it comes to all of the games that I like to play, I have a lot of Steam games, but I only use two as of right now because they are the games that I use on the day to day. I play Star Trek, which is my one of my favorite games. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I like to play that a lot. And also, I like to use uh, Elden Ring because I'm actually going to be hopping into the DLC very, very soon. OK, now I know you're probably like, yo, where's where's iPod's big head at? Hi, I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. But um, this is my game, right? This is the game that I love. This is the game that I play all the time. And it's also the game that you will be able to hear with me using mix line all right so this is me listening to star trek fleet command in my ear and this is what it sounds like when you hear it on stream now if i decided that i didn't want to hear the gameplay audio and i only wanted the stream to hear the audio we can do that too or if i decide you know what the stream don't want to hear star trek today but maybe i want to hear when somebody attacks me in the background and i want to keep the gameplay up and stuff like that i can listen to it myself and the stream doesn't have to listen to it okay now let's talk about the other game on the list the other game that i like to play so much which is elden ring elden ring is one of the craziest games out right now um i mean game of the year the, the darn DLC might win game of the year. It's just, it's it's that kind of game right now. I think that Elden Ring is such a great game that it deserves to be in this video. I'm just gonna go ahead and point that out. Okay, now that we have Elden Ring on screen, you may notice that you don't hear anything. And that's because on Mixline, I have both of those applications muted right now for my ears and for your ears. But let's go ahead and turn those ears on. There you go. Now you're able to hear the game audio from Elden Ring as well as myself going through my headset. That's one of the, you know, the perks of this. But like I told you guys, if I wanted to just monitor what was heard, I can just do this. I can hit the monitor button and nobody would be able to be like, oh, dang, it's crazy. Game audio on, monitor on. That's insane. I can't lie. That's that's literally insane. Being able to listen to monitor audio to make sure all audio is good. And of course, I can mute my mic and not monitor myself. But sometimes you do want to monitor how people perceive you in stream. So it's always good to actually run that. Now, last but not least, let's talk about console audio. I know that a lot of people have probably been like, yo, bro, Pi, when are you going to get to it? I want to know, like, how can I use my A50X with my console? I've watched thousands of videos. I don't understand how it works with the A50X. Please put me on. Please teach me how to do that. So biggest thing that you need to know about this setup is that I'm using a GoXLR and Mixline to run my entire audio setup. 
Now, if you want to get a Go XLR Mini or whatever the case may be, something a little bit more uh, price, uh, you know, affordable and stuff like that, you can go to eBay and get yourself a Go XLR Mini or something like that, something used and run this setup. It doesn't have to be the $350 version of Go XLR, whatever the case may be. You can grab something for a little bit cheaper. Now, what I wanted to show you guys is the actual Mixline app, and I'll show you guys that here. Now, of course, you did hear audio. You hear when the shots go up, you hear when they hit all net, you hear when they brick, and you hear me talking. So what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that you can hear that audio clearly, but I also wanna tell you guys about the feature of this audio and why it works so well. So for instance, what you are currently looking at is the sample track. We'll go into Go XLR and all of that a little bit later, but I wanna tell you the audio that you're listening to. You're listening to the sample track, which is going out from the sample to the Mixline stream and to my gaming headset, right? I have the ability to lower that audio and the ability to max that audio all the way out. Now, the reason why I have that ability is because again, it's on the GoXLR sample fader, which allows me to move that audio up and down. So if I'm playing a shooter like Apex or Call of Duty, if I'm playing uh, NBA 2K25, EA Sports College Football 25, I have the ability to manipulate that audio immediately because maybe I can't hear. If I can't hear footsteps, I max it. If I if I don't need footsteps or you know Apex or Call of Duty, I can lower it and just listen to just the ambiance of the game itself. Now, of course, you can come in, you can you can mute it if you want, and nobody will hear it. That's fine. No problem. But again, you want to make sure that you do have the ability to hear that audio. Now, let's go inside of GoXLR so I can show you everything that I have set up. All right, so the biggest thing that you need to know about the GoXLR and using the sample track as a way to listen to your gameplay from your PlayStation 5 or your Xbox, you wanna come over to routing. Now, I've done it in a way where my routing is perfect, whether I'm using Mixline for all of my features or if I'm using GoXLR and Mixline together to powerhouse everything. Now, what you guys can see here is my line out and my sample. My sample has all of the things that I like to listen to on stream as well as console audio. Now, the way that I have my console audio routed from my um, previous video that I showed you guys is that I'm using a HDMI adapter that is plugged into the PlayStation 5 from Astro and I'm using the 850 headset plugged in directly to my PC. So with that optical cable, we love our optical cables, where I'm uh, able to actually put the optical cable audio from the actual HDMI adapter that's plugged into the back of my PlayStation 5 into my GoXLR hardware. And that allows me to manipulate that console audio in any way that I want to it because I can listen to it on my PC. Now, with Mixline being a plus with that is that if I don't want to use GoXLR for anything, in which I don't have to, I have that choice now because that's just an audio input on my PC. All right, and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. What I mean by that is, again, the sample coming from the sample side. I have the console routed to the sample, which all I'd had to do was press one little check button. This is the only check button I had to do. Now, it's funny to me because you can't hear it anymore, right? But you can hear it. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. I know. I know. And and the best thing about it is like See how loud it can get? Just by unchecking that button right there, you can no longer hear the background of NBA two K twenty four. But if I check it again, it's back. Okay, last but not least on this list is a dual PC setup. Um, I saved this for last because this is really, really self-explanatory. Um, all that you need to do is run a line cable into your line out or your headphone jack of your, your uh, gaming PC into the line in of your streaming PC and it will become its own audio input 
on your streaming PC. I know that you might notice that you don't hear anything um, the entire time I was talking about Grand Theft Auto 5, but now you do. You hear it, I may not hear it, but I'll listen to it with you. And this is what Mixline is like. The ability to cut off audio from anyone hearing, to only you hearing it, to only your stream hearing it, or you and your stream both experiencing the same exact audio. Now here, if you notice, when I play Grand Theft Auto, I play it on 60 because sometimes some of the dialogue is a little bit loud as far as like the cutscenes and stuff like that. So I keep it at 60 at a base level so that you'll be able to hear me and you'll be able to hear the gameplay as well. Okay, so it's really not that bad of a situation when I might get into a shootout and it might be a little bit loud. And I'd be like, you know what? No, I wanted to hear those shots. I want to hear somebody's feet running and stuff like that. I tend to play any game that has any shooting in it at 60. Anything that doesn't have any shooting in it, I usually play it at 35 or 40, which is the 2Ks, the EA Sports gameplays and stuff like that. I usually run those at 40. Now, before I get out of here, I wanted to talk to you guys about the microphone setup. I know that I really didn't dive into it, but I am talking to you guys through my Sona, but I'm also able to talk to you through another microphone as well, which is my A50X. That's why I made this the premise of this video, because so many people had questions about the A50X and how to use it and set it up with Mixline that I had to make sure that I leave you guys with some remnants of like A50X headset audio is okay if you cannot afford a XLR microphone, okay? I repeat, if you cannot afford an XLR microphone, the A50X headset mic is great. Since I've given you guys literally all of this video with the um, Sona from Logitech G, I wanted to actually talk to you guys with the A50X so that you can actually listen to the audio and um, form your own opinion of that audio while I talk to you about the rest of Mixline. Now, of course, Mixline, the full drop was today. Um, I want to thank Logitech G and everybody over there that actually took out the time to go through this beta. Like this beta process, this entire timeline has been insane, especially with this headset dropping. With the A50X dropping, there was a disconnect because the A50X headset kind of looked like a headset that was for encouragement of couch play and group play in a land setting with friends and family around with multiple consoles you know in presence right but for most of us we fell in love with the astro brand because not only was it good for shooters and stuff like that being able to hear that type of sound but the simple fact that being able to take control of all your audio setup being someone who records videos someone who streams video games and even streams reactional content or IRL content with the headset in their vicinity was something that we love to do with the Astros, right? Now with the A50X, it dawned on me that being able to hear my console audio at the same time with having the optical cable plugged into the base of the A50X uh, was not going to be a thing anymore because it only had USB-C imports, which you could just press a button on your headset and it will switch the input to everyone that is plugged in. And you can literally do that for your Xbox, your PC and your PlayStation. But for someone like me, a gamer, a person who has a dual PC setup, a console game 90% of the time, I needed this headset to be my holy grail of audio. And I believe I, I did that. And it only took me about a few days to a week to understand all of the audio inputs and everything like that. And now here we are almost eight months later of the A50X dropping. And we now have the application that will propel this headset in the future. You know what I mean? I, I believe that now that Mixline is out and it's fully functional and it is available to the masses. Oh, finally, you guys will now get a free application to use with your Windows PC to be able to manipulate your streaming audio on whatever streaming platform you use and whatever streaming application you use. This application is not only held down by using Streamlabs only. You can use any of the streaming platforms out there and be able to use Mixline 
as your audio input output stream recording setup it's beautiful man it's literally beautiful i just can't i can't believe how beautiful it is man and and of course yes um this microphone may be really really good but i will say i've always been a fan of xlr microphones um i like the 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 juiciness the beefiness pause of the microphone and um i'm gonna keep using my 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 sona for sure definitely um maybe i'll use the a50x when i gotta run upstairs and talk to the chat from time to time but for the most part yeah if i'm right here in front of this setup <laughs> sona me <laughs> sona me but again um you can go ahead and check out um, Mixline by going to the website um, in the description. You can go to logi.gg slash Corner, click on software and click on Mixline, download it for free. Um, and if you have any questions, any concerns, feel free to hit me up on my Discord. Um, my Discord name is at Carter for any questions regarding audio, Mixline, Astro A50X, Talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I love to help people. Um, people have seen me help uh, others on stream, live, you know what I mean, with their uh, audio setups. So just just holler at me, man. But um, I appreciate you guys for watching this lengthy video. Um, remember, Mixline works with one PC, dual PCs, PC and console. All right. And if you want to use PC and console, you're going to have to buy a GoXLR Mini, which you can get for the low ski off of ebay all right um with that being said i appreciate y'all i will see y'all in the next one peace oh before i forget um twitch streams definitely on uh mondays tuesdays thursdays fridays and uh wednesdays saturdays and sundays i kind of stream whatever i want also reaction channel up you know what i'm saying so check the link in the description and new vlog on the vlog channel dropping the end of this week Appreciate y'all. Bye. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Aba. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Aba. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong.